Hi. Hello. How are things? How's tricks? Oh my god, it's been so what long. You up I'm to? so sorry. <laughs> it's taken me a while to get back to your messages. I think you might have left them like really late at night or something because mm. they weren't coming through on my phone. It's so weird. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so uh, I just wondered what you're up to and like what you're doing now if you're still working. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. I don't that. know what you're doing. I'm, um, well, not much has changed really, unfortunately. The hay fever is still yeah. rampant. I did try the soy milk, but it didn't, it didn't go very well, actually. I had some terrible, uh, some sort of weird reaction with my skin. It got really dry. In particular, I noticed it on my hands because I use hand gel quite a lot. They just became really red raw. It was really weird. So I, I went back to the specialist and, and she had a look at this. I know she couldn't pick anything up. It was really hard at the time. But she thought maybe that they'd caused some kind of autoimmune response. So my normal hand gels that I use, because I love hand gel. I'm talking about Carex. I have to say, I think Carex is the best because it does kill 99.9% .9 of all known germs. Although I was thinking the other day about that, I was thinking, oh my god, because that's yeah. just the germs we know about. What about the germs we don't know about? And what if there's millions and millions of, of germs we don't know about at all? And they may not be killed, so we, we don't actually know how many germs it does kill, just the known ones. That worried me a bit. I also quite like a generic one from I think it's MS do one and it's lemony. But it doesn't say about killing the germs, so you just don't really know if it just smells nice or what it's doing. But I love hand gel normally. I use it all the time. I use it before washing my hands because actually when you're out and about and you want to wash your hands, if you touch the tap, everyone touches taps with dirty hands, don't they? So I often think taps must be like the dirtiest place for germs in a way. So I put hand gel on first then wash my hands, then put it back on again, re Excuse me. But So my normal routine there has been really disrupted because something's happened to my skin where it seems to have gone really, really sensitive. And the allergy specialist that I've seen has, has said it might be the soy. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going on that hand gel all the time. But yeah, I'm back with the Carex. I just think why mess with it? It works, doesn't give me a rash. And I'm back to the dairy and I'm back to the green board really in terms of the hay fever. But so anyway, how are you? What what's is? what's going on? What uh, are you up to? Oh, sorry I'm so tired. I used to be up in the daytime. Uh, yeah, no, things have uh, changed quite a lot here. I can't remember when we last spoke, but I'm no longer at Pornhub. Oh brilliant. I'm not a MILF anymore. Oh that's um, such a relief. It was just it's the hours really they're just so regular yeah i mean what i'm doing now i am up at night quite a lot but at least it's the same times every night and I, I know more or less what i'm doing and not necessarily who with so it's similar to Pornhub in that sense but i'm getting used to it so what i'm basically doing is i'm doing a vampire training course it's early days but i've started the course there's a group of us so it's mainly vocational but there are some theory bits learning about blood types and so on because believe me you do not want to get the wrong blood type i'm b blood type which is quite rare in this part of the world and you would not want to accidentally hit an a o's all right everyone can have o but you have to do a sort of about one module on that first before you're allowed out it's a bit boring uh, not much variety in terms of, of activity or, or diet really, but you know, free food, none of us are anemic. Uh, downsides, what do you need to know? Well, darkness is quite a major one. Can't go out, I, I haven't bought any light bulbs for a while. And none of us quite know if that's true. No one in my class is going to take the risk. These warnings exist for a reason, so yeah, staying in darkness is a bit of a drag. You get used to it but I, I would say the major drawback is the guilt we do a lot of work on that dealing with the guilt right from the beginning guilt management is a major part of the course uh, we all know going into it that that's going to be a thing I mean in, in all honesty if if you're taking out two or three people a night and then worrying about it the next day 
you're not going to last the course. So, so we know going into it, and uh, we we all exchange tips, things that work for us. I find gardening helps, things like that. If you if you've got a pastime, you can get on with the next morning. The same morning for me that means sort of <laughs> late at night, really, because I can't go out in daylight. So. I am finding gardening helps, but of course I can't see what my garden looks like. I can't really assess my my, my green fingers because uh, I can't use a torch or go to near light. So, but yeah, on the whole, it's just sort of a way to get by. I, d I don't know what next. Really, we, we once we graduate, we we go freelance. I am not ruling out Asia. Because of course B blood type, the, sorry I'm going to bore you here with theory, but B type does come from that part of the world, Northern Mongolia and India. Um, so I might have a higher strike rate. O blood type is a decent meal, but it's, it's quite boring, bog standard. If you are a B type like me, you're more wanting that kind of B type delicacy. But yeah, <laughs> it's sort of be expected really that it's notoriously boring in the first year all of us are wanted to go freelance of course and uh, go out on our own but we have to shadow others and it's a bit boring it kind of sucks but in many ways that's um, that's the point of the course really anyway I'll speak to you soon <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs>